well, you go and get the role. Right. And you're essentially the star of the movie. I mean, De Niro is more of a secondary character in that film. Right. Which I thought he was great in that role. You know, that's one of his roles that's very underestimated. Like, you know, they didn't give, you know, I mean, I think he was great as the regular guy, you know, the bus driver. And I think sometimes that performance was overlooked. And it was just, you know, people love the movie as a whole, but De Niro was brilliant in that film, you know? I'm, of course, Chaz Palminteri as well, but. Yeah. How did you feel when they told you you got the role? Um, I mean, I can't really even explain it in words because we would, I was coming back for like, you know, day after day for probably three weeks after I met De Niro and it had gotten to the point where, you know, there was no one else there reading for my part. So it was common sense to realize like, you know what, I think I got this role because there's no one else here reading for it. But then when we, when, you know, after being with De Niro and reading with all different girls, you know, they were still casting the girl, they were casting my group of friends and all that was still going on. And after about three weeks of that, De Niro finally told me that uh, we're gonna have what's called a, a screen test, which we're gonna put you on film to see what you look like on film. So I want you to dress like you're going to church, slacks, you know, button down shirt. <clears throat> and uh, okay. So when I got there to do the screen test, the kid who shot Sonny at the end of the film, his name was Phil Garmarino, he comes up to me and he says, hey, how are you, man? He says, my name is Phil. I'm reading for Calogero. You know, so now I know that it's not only me. And I know that this kid got to where he was because he had to be good. They didn't just pick his name out of a hat. He had to have some ability to get to that point. So now it was like really intimidating. So it took on a whole new life, this whole process. So now, you know, now it's like I got to work for this. So it was like all day they were reading, you know, they were doing all different, you know, the, the smaller roles. And then as, you know, everyone left, it was me versus him. Like he'd go in and do a scene. I'd go in and do a scene. It's like shot for shot. Um, and I remember the one scene where Sonny accuses Calogero of doing something with his car that they found something under the hood, smacks him around. He went in to do that scene first. So I'm outside, the door was closed, and all I hear is them roughing him up. I mean, literally smacking him. You can hear the slaps. So I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, like, I, I didn't really sign up for this. <laughs> So he came out of the room, his hair was all disheveled, his shirt was ripped, and and then I went in to do the same exact thing, and I remember they didn't didn't put their hands on me. They didn't hit me, they didn't do anything. I did it, and that was it. And I remember speaking to De Niro later on about that, and I said, you know, you remember that day when, you know, we did that scene, and Phil came out, and you guys were, you know, beating him up, and he said, how come you, and De Niro said to me, he said, well, we didn't have to do that to you. You did what we wanted you to do without having to do that. So I was like, wow, it was a big compliment, you know, from De Niro, for De Niro to say that. But then when they actually gave me the role, that was a Thursday, the screen test, Friday, and I was going down there every day. So then the Friday said, Lilo, you know, today we don't need you to come down. So now it was like basically a waiting game. So Sunday they called me and they said, would, you know, Bob would like to see you tomorrow. So I went down there and, uh, you know, <clears throat> so I'm sitting with De Niro and Chaz and, So there was just, well, we like we like what you did. And he said, yeah, because it was very ambiguous, because he said, we like what you did. He could have said, but you know, we're gonna go with Phil because he's older and a little more experienced and that's what we're looking for. Or it could have went and he says, and you got the part. And I was just like, wow. You know, because that, like I said, at that point, it took on a whole new meaning. So now it was like, so I couldn't, I can't really even explain it in words. I asked him to use the phone. He, there was one in the bathroom. I called my mother. She was very excited. My father was in the, you know, waiting on the couch outside. Told him. It was a very, very special time in my life when I got back home. Everyone on my street knew that I got the part. So it was like a real, real big deal.